araw sa inyong lahat. Ako si John Freddy Kaya Bill. And galing pa kasi ako ng Incantaja kaya nga yun ako. And ibablog ko po yung mga napag-aralan na yung Facebook. Ang subject na ito is Power and Men. So ito yung teacher namin sa subject na ito. Si Ma'am Jennifer B. So ngayon, proposit na tayo sa topic. First is yung word. Di ba, nung nakaraang pandemic, nagkaroon tayo ng online class. So, nagamit natin yung word para gumawa ng mga modules or yung mga teacher ginagamit nila, ginagamit nila yun para doon gawin yung mga isinesend nilang modules sa mga students, katulad ko. And, so, ang main purpose po ng MS Word is ginagamit upang makagawa ng documents Kabilang dito ang text, graphics, table, clip, art at iba pa. So, ito po yung itsura ng MS Word. Excel. The main use of Microsoft Excel is to store, analyze, and report on large amounts of data. And ito po ang itsura ng Excel. This po is PowerPoint. Yung PowerPoint is nagagamit siya ng mga teachers, students, like pag may presentations or discussions sa school or reporting and the main use of powerpoint is create presentations form, scratch or template add text, image, art and videos select a personal design with powerpoint designs add transitions, animations and wow transitions, animations, and systematic motion. And ito po yung itsura ng PowerPoint. The next naman is Canva. Di ba yung Canva na gagamit natin siya pag meron tayong mga projects na dapat lagyan ng mga backgrounds. Example na lang is nung meron kami ano, performance ta sa environment and gumawa kami ng mga invitation cards and doon kami gumawa ng invitation cards namin na nilag doon kami gumawa ng designs and yung cut out and para na para i-print na lang siya so ang main po na gamit ng Canva is create invitations business cards, flyers lesson plans zoom backgrounds and more using professionally designed templates so ito po yung tura ng Canva So, next po is Photoshop. Pwede ka po doon mag-paste ng mga pictures na like, nung posible nang mangyari. Like, example is mag-paste ka ng picture ng galaxy na background mo or mag-paste ka ng So, the main purpose of Photoshop is creating graphics and layouts for print projects such as newspaper, magazines, and posters. The software can also create website designs, logos, and other digital art. So, ito po yung tura ng Photoshop. So, next naman po is OneNote. So, ang gamit po ng OneNote is organize your thoughts, discoveries, and ideas and simplify planning important moments in your life with your digital notepad. So, next naman po is Prezi. Freezy App is a web-based tool for creating presentations called Freezy's for short. It's similar to other presentation software. Next naman po is Sibelius. Sibelius, um, nagagamit po siya para po sa music notation software or music composing. So next naman po is Google Form. Yung Google Form naman, nagagamit siya ng mga student as well mga teachers din. Pwede ka doon gumawa ng mga ano, forms or mga survey and quizzes. Google Drive. Ano nga ba yung mga pwede natin gawin sa Google Drive? Google Drive is a free cloud-based storage service that enables users to store and access files online. So last but not the least is MindMister. Actually, parang feeling ko yung MindMister is parang katulad lang siya ng OneNote. Kasi sabi dito, My Mister is a one online mind mapping application that allows its users to visualize, share, and present their thoughts via the cloud. Cura ng My Mister.
So I hope may mga natutunan kayo sa mga shinare ko.